Knock, knock. Who's there? Control freak. Say control freak crew. It's time for some more rogue lands. And I had a Mecromancer run that went perfectly yesterday, but I lost it to the ether. I was accidentally recording my Raven's Watch tab, so... Engage. It's time for a little bit of redemption now. What is our game plan? Get a Jacob's Quad. Jacob's Quad me. Or, or Bushwhack. I mean, it... Yeah, I... Again, a bandit shotgun is not really what we're looking for. We're looking for something that can really stack up anarchy quickly. That being said, if we don't get it, if we don't get it ASAP, we're going to be just taking some elemental matching stuff. Let's shoot damage, chance to shock. Kind of trash. But we got to take what we get. I think a I like the sticky lob transfusion here. Or I could take a Reverise as well. Homing Transfusion with a point zero point zero fuse time? Yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm talking about. And let's start stacking Anarchy ASAP right away. The faster we can stack Anarchy, the better off we're going to be. And the faster we can get ourselves a Jacob Shotgun, whether it be a Bushwhack or a Quad. If it's not a Bushwhack or a Quad, I might reconsider. That trap got here, friend. She's a doll SMG, not my all-time fave. Wow, jeez, stop one-shotting me, brother. This is what you're gonna get. You gonna hurt me that bad? Go down. Nice, okay. There's one. Now I have... Oh, okay. I have... Um, reload unbinded for my last run, so I'm, I'm chilling in that front. Yeah, I'm gonna get killed if, I, if I'm not careful here. How about a... How about a Bandit shotgun. Nice. Oh, that was a crit too. I barely got any damage off. Jeez. Tough zone, tough zone. Yeah, I go down and there's almost no chance to get back up. Actually, I'm looking okay. Reload faster gauge, please. Thank you. Nice, I'm back up. Everything's looking fine. Barb's guy gone. <clears throat> what I'm really looking for is another chest so I can try to keep fishing for Jacob Shotty on the small map. Open up, circle around. Take a free kill if it's there. Ow. Jeez, these guys are actually catching me, and I'm in a full sprint. I'm in a full sprint, and they're catching up to me. Oh. I mean, I die here for sure. Come on. Something easy. Not a rabbit skag. A barb skag. Huge. Get me out. 9 out of 15. I need something that does some damage, please. Rabbit skags, I, I, with the, my current weapons, I simply cannot kill it. It's just not possible. But maybe with this launcher, I can? Hey, okay, they're one shotting me again. Huge. I just need to get rid of this guy. Also, a 0, 0.0 second fuse time transfusion is super nice. When in doubt, launcher it out. And plus, I can stack energy quickly with this thing. There we go. Round is over. Now I can search for some decent weapons. A Calipine? No, it's got a 9 round magazine. All right, five points until I... I'm not going to put my points in until I see what the rest of my items are for this stage. This way I can make an educated decision. Let's see. Uh, I think a phase time is probably going to be overall better. Let's take shield capacity, shield recharge rate. Consumes two ammo per shot is going to be good. And a Hyperion shoddy because it's not going to consume too many. That's going to be unusable. Let's see. I like turtle shields. Mm, but the amp shields are good too. I'll take both. I'm going to slap on the turtle shield for now. Looking good. Looking good. And there was a bunch of class mods over on a chest on the other side. So I'm going to be opening up those. I'm going to do some parkour first and get to the uh, and get to the pressure plate up top. How's everybody doing? It's been a while since I've actually gotten a chance to to play for an extended period of time, and I'm hoping to do that today. 
Well, things are looking good. I'm gonna hit up those class mods to see if there's one that gives me some reload speed. That's what I'm looking for most of all, is some reload speed. Let's see. Perfect. Coconut treble and the better half. Very nice. Because I believe cooking up trouble is what heals me in this tree. Yeah, we're going to take one point at them. And then the better half is good too. Very nice. I know we're taking a while on stage one here, but stage one sets the stage. Stage one sets the stage for, for the other bits of the run. So we got to make sure that we make use of it. On top of the skag cave. Jump up on this rock right here. Easy. Jacob's quad, please. It's nothing that crazy good, to be honest with you. I mean, we'll take a fire damage weapon because I simply because I don't have one. But other than that, we're really looking for something better. And we don't need to the we don't need close enough yet. I think maybe cooking out trouble could be better for us. Either way, I think close enough just to, it's just a really good skill. Good stage one. We got a replacement shotgun for our bandit one, which is nice. All right, give me a Jacobs one, please. And thank you. Nope, nothing. That's okay. See you later, kid. And the shock damage is going to help me against, against shields quite a bit. This is one of my favorite stages because it's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. 21 stacks of anarchy is not where I want to be, but... Until I get a, a Jacob shotgun, then not much I can do. A Hydra, as far as unique, so a Hydra is kind of like what we're looking for. Still nothing that crazy good. This guy spawns up here and just chills up there the entire time. Every time. You're gone. This stage always hits my frames, though. When I climb up on that cliff, this, my frames always go crazy. See ya. What's up, Torg Architect? You going down, brother? Yeah, these guys are just... They're not very tanky, and they don't do much damage, and it's just a nice, simple stage to, to clear. It's satisfying enough, too, because they're big enough targets that I can actually hit my shots. Huge. An Aegis, a TMP, TMP, and a Revolver. I'm good. I know what another pressure plate is, though, so we get another crack at some mech, uh, some better weapons. As far as points, or oh, let's take a bandit rocket launcher. I think that'll be good. So as far as points, let's take close enough and bulk up in the better half. Because we're using an automatic weapon, so the, the better half actually functions well for us. Explosive damage, bandit damage, and fire rate. Could be Dece. Let's run over here. <clears throat> and behind this red chest is another pressure plate, so I'm hoping to get myself a nice Jacob shoddy on the small map over here. Stay in focus for this early game. Uh, More pep? I don't think it's going to be better. Gun damage minus weapon death from above annoyed android now. I think we finally found the, the class mod that we like best on, on Gage, so we're going to stick with it. That's a crowdsourcing times three. And it's going to be good against robots, so we're going to take it. Which is good. And let's take a grace just because if we go up against Pyro Pete or someone that can be slagged for a long period of time, we're going to want it. Still not a single Jacob shotgun. Not even the times one or even the times two. Kind of crazy. That's a massive turtle shield. Let's equip it. Very nice. All right, go next. Again, with the reason why we really want... Jacob shotgun is to stack our anarchy, but if again, if we can get by the first raid boss without without one, then it really doesn't matter because our, our anarchy resets each stage anyway. Um, yeah, I mean it's just straight up better, so we take. Looking good. Get over here. Oh wow, the 
Nice. Oh yeah, you can you can really hear the last couple of shots really pick up in fire rate. Bump, 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 but dump. Hear that? Kind of cool. Monarch spider rant. You're gonna go down, brother. Sister, I'm sorry. Or no, it doesn't have to be a female. Monarch can be male or female. What are you doing backing up so far? Here we go. Like all that backing up for what? For actually what? Oh, some weapons, but no Jacob shotgun on the small map. That's okay. We're going to keep it moving. I've been watching the NBA playoffs uh, at least a little bit, and I'm, it's pretty surprising. I mean, the Lakers are already out. Last night, the Lakers lost the Denver Nuggets. Kind of, you know, putting a time on when the recording is actually happening, but I'm not recording every single day. I've been, uh... Writing essays. I just finished an essay yesterday. Six pages on uh, the history of video games and AI. I'm gonna need this. I'm gonna use a spiker. I think that'll be good here, right? Because it's just gonna go right through their armor. I like that. I like how it speeds up at the end. Bum 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 bum. Super sick. But that weapon looks cool. Oh, here we go. A bushwhack. Huge. Finally. Let's replace... Let's replace whatever. It doesn't really matter. We got ourselves a bushwhack. It's not a quad. Let's look at the parts as well. Do we have matching grip? I believe that's matching grip right there. That's pretty sick. This is a pretty nice bushwhack. Oh, we got to make sure that... We got to keep our launcher on, though. Don't want to be caught without a launcher. That's worst case scenario. Now, third straight pressure plate. You guys are getting the the good juicy pressure plates. There we go. A quad. Let's go. Very nice. Is that matching grip? I'm not so sure. I want to I want to take a look at the stats versus the the bushwhack. Oh, here we go. It's way it's better. It's better. Let's go. Super sick. Got ourselves a quad. We can actually start playing the game now. There we go. We're gonna keep some points in the better half, even though it's less effective now. Oh wow! Now we're really just starting to st stack up the shotties on the small map. So now that we don't really have to kill anything fast, we honestly kind of rather kill things slowly so we can stack up our anarchy faster. While we're still in combat for a little bit, the music's still playing. And when the music fades, we were no longer in combat. A pro tip for you. Okay, so... Now that we're here, now that we've gotten to this point... One point in some more anarchy. Four points in blood soaked shields. Get our shields back. What is that right there? That's a, a scatter gun. Okay. Yeah, so the Lakers round. I'm not really a Lakers fan. I'm actually a diehard Washington Wizards fan. And so we. It, it, it's been funny to watch Bradley Beal kind of fall, fall apart in the playoffs. <laughs> Poor Brad. But honestly, like, he doesn't really play hard. Like, I... And it's... You know, it's 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 sad to see, but he... He kind of stands around on defense and doesn't really do very much. This, he's got sloppy ball handling, sloppy passing. Like, what does he actually offer the, a team? You know, I'd much rather have, like, someone like Kadavius Caldwell Pope. You know, someone who actually cares about the team. I can't hit that egg. Oh, Blood Witch Doctor. Gotta get right up on him. Come on. Faster. Faster. Before he heals all of his health back up. Nice. I believe. Nice. Another blood witch doctor? Oh, disease witch doctor. Okay. I'm gonna want to take this guy out while... I can hit this guy with some fire, right? And he takes some... He takes big fire damage? Yeah, he does. Put some respect on the spiker's name. Good range damage right there. 
And to get a little bit closer. Just a little bit closer. There we go. He's down. Now I can pretty easily kill these guys. Wad me. Let's go. This is about where my other run to how my other run started. I mean, I had a quad right away, but still. And I can, I can think I can use this guy to stack up on, right? If I really want to, right? No. All right, egg number two, and then the last one's inside the the arena. Oh, I think it's this one right here I can stack up on, but I'm going to want to shoot this fire melon first. I, I don't need to do it, though. I'm not that, I'm not that lad. Wait, okay, some of the chests in the game are programmed as enemies or something like that, so... Ooh, that looks nice. So you can use them to stack up anarchy, which is kind of interesting. Bloodtail, what's up, homie? Oh my gosh, you actually just got two shot. Inspiring shotgun 1340. As far as I know, it's just like a worse version of a regular shoddy. All right, now that we're here, let's stack up anarchy faster. There. Get more anarchy stacks and give me a chance to stack it up faster. Huge. The sad part was that that unique could have been like a twister or something. Okay, my... My grenade's already pretty good. It's a 0, 0.0 second fuse time homing transfusion, which is kind of like what I want. Not kind of. It is what I want. Let's burn all my ammo in that chest so that way I can stack up my anarchy as much as possible because we only have a couple more stages before the final boss, so. Just to show you how this guy, how this works, I think this, this chest right here works. Yeah, 127, 128, and I'll pause it just so you guys can don't to say here while I do. Okay. I mean, that's going to be about good enough for now. I'm not going to stay here the entire time doing this. 153 is a decent amount. Southern Shelf, this should be Doc Mercy, no? Yeah, Doc Mercy. Let's turn around, hit the lever. I've had this guy be a loot matchstick before. So he's only going to drop me that grenade. Yeah, the one I don't want to use. It's okay. Open up. Calipine, it's just a bad weapon, honestly. We got this. Oh, a lot of bouncing Bonnie? I mean, it could be good, but I, I kind of want to keep the transfusion. I don't have anywhere to heal up. Besides having a full mag, even that's not that quick. Do 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 do. Later. I also, uh, I'm a fan of most sports. I actually really like the New York Yankees as well. It's been a good year for us. We just lost the Orioles last night, but um, Juan Soto has been kind of hard carrying. What a pickup he's been. Stop running away from me. Thank you. Lost a couple grenades. Huge. Wow, this guy invincible or what? I think he's invincible or like he's close to it. Jump across here. Some health back. There we go. He's he's vulnerable now. Huge damage. Got jump to the side. He doesn't shoot very very fast, but he does. Oh, he's going to hurt me. Oh my god. A unicorn explosion. Wow. Okay, let's let's slap it on slot one. Nice. Very cool. And what do we get in our box here? Let's see. A good touch. I'm not taking a fireball. I'm not taking an elephant gun. 
We'll take a we'll take a creamer, I think, over this bandit one. And a fibber. Which fibber is it? If if it's the ricochet fibber, that's what I want. The ricochet fibber, please. No, it's not. That's okay. What do we got in here? Still no. Still not rocking it. Five points. I think... What we're gonna want is... Anarchy stacking faster. What's my total? 150... Plus 150 is 300. What am I at now? 196. Take one more point in it. And death trap out for longer. And sure, another point in blood soak shields. Let's do it. Here we are. Now I'm gonna want to increase my shotgun max ammo for sure. For sure, for sure. Let's do it. Shotgun max. Blammo. I don't want to take one more because I'll be overcapped. I won't get it. I won't get to have two pulls of the box, and I really want to get two pulls of the box. Uh class mods, that's sad. Don't really want either of those. Come on, no, no class mods. Mmm. Okay. It's a Hector's Paradise and a Hornet. I mean, as, as far as pistols goes, you can't really ask for a better pistol. In fact, let's get some more pistol ammo. Let's design our characters. See you guys in. But this is my red Emshin gauge because I lost my other gauge character. <laughs> very, very nice. All right, y'all ready? Boom. We lost legendary, but that's okay. There was the class mods that I'm probably never going to put on. Okay, got a little bit of Hyperius and we have a Hornet. So that's not so bad. Eat some of this. Oh, that is big damage. And I have an, I have an explosive damage relic. I, 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 I forgot. So let's let's slap. I mean, let's use the Hornet while we have it. And we don't have to stack any, any, any more anarchy because we're kind of just chilling. Let's just use the Hornet for now. Very nice. Going down, brother. <clears throat> Also, Hyperus drains your shield. I'm not too sure if I really want to be running a turtle shield right now, but I think I'm okay. Clean. Pop the unicorn explosion. Get some damage off on the boss. Not bad. Back to Hornet. Again, the Hornet and the Hector's Paradise are basically the same weapon. Keep moving, keep moving, don't die. There we go. Get some of my health back, please, if you don't mind. Huge. How am I taking that damage? Oh, unicorn explosion me. Very nice. Dodge those rockets. No reason to aim downside, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Aiming downside is just going to get me killed. I can just do it from the hip. Very clean. Oh, 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 ouch, ouch. Let's get that transfusion out there. Get me back up if you would, friends. Nice. Unicorn explosion me. Not bad, not bad. Keep it moving. Just need a couple shots to land. That's the way anarchy works. Toss a grenade out. I don't want to take any more damage. Huge. It doesn't even actually, it doesn't actually have to hit anything important. But I'm out of grenades now. I'm gonna go get some more. Hopefully get some more. Thank you for recharging my shield, friend. There we go. Some more grenades. Huge. I'm coming back, Hyperius. Don't worry, friend. Huge. Just a couple shots to land is all I need. Very big. Okay, a couple, a couple robots down. Let's 
Once these robots go down, I can swap to my explosive damage relic. Ow, brother. I'm trying to get up to him, but he keeps knocking he keeps knocking me away. He definitely resists. Uh, I mean, uh, he probably resists at this point. Is what I'm feeling. But we're doing some really nice deeps. Huge. Okay. Absolutely enormous. He goes down. Hopefully he drops me some good, ge good gear. The cradle. Mm-mm. Remember I shot crossfire? I mean, we are playing gauge. Shock damage is nice. The neo generator. I think this is going to be a better shield for what I want. I think the neo generator is amongst the best shields. Amongst the best shields. Even though it is smaller than a turtle shield, it's just so nice for the health regen and all that. And all that jazz. Anything else around here? What we're really looking for... I mean, I know it's a... A tall ask. But we're really looking for a peak opener. Ooh, an antagonist. And it's enormous. Let's go for the antagonist instead. Huge. Very, very nice. Alright, we can move on. F2 to continue. Well, they are looking okay. Wind shear waste. Which one is this? Oh, it's this one. Okay. Let's zip on out of here. So now... Now we're going to be using a... A quad shotgun to... To get our stacks back up. Because again, all of your stacks go away. Between stages on gauge. Which is... I mean, you would think it's like the worst thing ever. But realistically... Um... Gage has been my most successful character in all of Rogue Lands, and so I, I don't think it's been mattering all that much. This thing keeps neighing whenever I pull it out. Open up. Nope. So, primary weapon. Sorry to the Hornets, but we're going to bring out the quad. I think this is going to be better. We're looking okay. Explosive damage? No, we're going to go shield capacity. Huge. So, the reason why we're going the antagonist over the Neo Generator, if you look at the two shields, the antagonist is about four times larger, which is which has much better synergy with my skills. On top of that, deflects enemy bullets, sending them flying towards enemy, and launches slag cloning balls at attackers. So... And it gives me 30% damage reduction. It just seems like a much, much better option for, for me personally in this run. Maybe for a different character at a different time, a different option would be better, but... For me, at this time, this is the best. Start stacking up our anarchy. Gotta yeah, start back at zero. Which means that we're gonna be missing some damage. But at the end of the day, it's not going to matter too much if we can stack our anarchy up quickly. Not bad. And we still got good damage if we barrel stop people. Don't get a, don't get it twisted. We still got good damage. This, this Lushified Nomad is going to ma make me upset. I already know it. Okay. The Antagonist is already back with the full because of my Blood Soak Shields. Not bad. Walk up so he tries to do the melee strike. Oh, I'm down. Ooh, nice try. Here we go. Back up to full again. Keep it going. Already at 54. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. If you can dodge a juggernaut, you can dodge a ball. Right, before a round of shotgun ammo, I'm going to want to take this guy out, I think. One, two, three, four. Oh, come on. Yeah, I have a Hector's Paradise as a backup, which is a really nice backup weapon. Jeez, how many juggern juggernauts am I going to face? Right, I'm out of blammo, though. Let's go to a Hector's Paradise. Keep stacking. I'm just outside this guy's effective range. That's huge. Dragons have got no effective range, apparently. Later, kiddo. 
This is a tough zone. Everyone is like shredded out their gourd. Maybe, maybe going for crits is better. I'm, I was afraid to go for the headshot, but I don't think these guys actually evolve. Hector's Paradise is going to be one of the best weapons on Gage in general because of the shock damage. I'm not running shock damage at the current moment, but... So I, re I really want to get my Anarchy going. Keep it going. The more we, the more we shoot, the more anarchy we, we stack. Already over a hundred again. Stack it up every now and then. I get anarchy and I stack it up. A calipine? No, the muck muck is the Jacob sniper that I like. Later, kid. Nothing personal. Later. Oh come on. Boss. See ya. I don't really want to mess with that guy. Okay, watch out for the train. Don't die to the train. Don't want to end this run early just because I'm not paying attention. Be a really lame way to go. Now, we can. I don't think I need to go because right now I'm at 150 plus 200 is 350. I'm not going to get close to that, I don't think. We can come back over here. <clears throat> and let's do... Let's do a little bit of cooking up trouble. And the better half, I know the better half's not that worth it for Jacob's quads, but... I'm thinking beyond the quads. A Snyder, a fire Snyder is good. Oh, I see the Jacob. I see the borderline symbol. It's over there. Get across before the, the train comes. Oh, I was nervous right there. Let's see. Might of the Seraphs or Blood of the Seraphs? I think... I think it's better than what I've got right now, personally. Could be wrong about that. Just a little bit of health regen. The more health regen I can get, the better. Alright, you all gotta go. Are there any barrels or anything around me that can kill me? Doesn't look like it. Nice one. 28 stacks. I haven't seen a single loot enemy this entire game. We're just stacking up. Shoot that barrel. Thank you. That one too. That just shows you how bad my accuracy is. There we go. But when I do hit... Wowie. It does big deeps. And we are simply just stacking. And we have a creamer on the scroll up. That's good. Alright, mercenary. What up, homie? You don't want... Trust me. You do not want to close the gap on me. That's the last thing you want to do. Hey, what's up, douche? Anchor douche. Oh, don't block. Blocking is cheating. And you don't want to be known for cheating, do you? Uh, that's the last enemy right there, but if I shoot this barrel, I can keep going. Here we go. 190, 191, 192. Oh, I accidentally just swapped out my quad. Ooh, a critical development times four Hyperion slag. That being said, let's go back to the Citrine quad. Alright, five points. Let's do... I mean, I'd like... I'd like to get to the nth degree here. So let's do it. Let's give Death Trap some ab abilities. Well, I, did I just waste some points? Maybe I did. That's okay. I'm not too worried about my points. I'll be fine. As long as I can get to interspurse outburst in the end, I'll be good. Chillin'. Big time. Bing, bing chillin', if you, uh, if you will. Open up. No, I already have a really ridiculous class, my, uh, shield right now, so. 
It's all about the dragons at this point. Hard carry. And the sheriff's badge. These are two very, very decent relics. The deputy's badge is more my style. Are we, we're going to have to kill large lad here. No, we're not. No large lad. That trap get out here, homie. Let's see, an apparatus. Nope, nothing here. Plague rat, see you later. These rats gotta get out of here. See ya. Glass shooting rat. You're going down, friend. Alright, so only 10 enemies to kill on this on this stage? It's kinda crazy, because there's so many of them. Let's take a, take a second just to shoot at the wall. And stack up a little bit more. Keep it going. Triple barrel TDR. Interesting. But I can't I can't reload early, is the thing. I'll shoot that barrel. Eventually we'll get it. 237, 239, 240. Keep it going. Any more barrels I can shoot? Yeah, right here. Huge. 250 on the small map. 249. We can do it. No. Dang it. Come on, we can get there. We can get there. We can get there. Reload. 251. Perfect. Okay. Five points. Let's take the nth degree. And we can honestly start making our way down to intersperse outburst now. It'd be fine, I think. If we can find the borderland symbol here again, a deputy's badge would go crazy. That's a ravager. That be a ravager. Oh, borderland symbol me right here? No, not quite. That's okay, we can go next. We have another mobbing round before a bossing round, I think. Alright, Oni. It's gonna be Oni. I know it. It always is Oni. I need to get a reload off. See ya. We're gonna sh I'm just gonna shoot some barrels. So I don't die. Any more barrels to shoot before they kill me? Yeah, that one. That one. Huge. Oil can. Yeah, put me on a quad. Alright, where are you at? Frenzy Marauder, see ya. Yeah, see, Death Trap is so good defensively, because look how much aggro he's pulling. It's kind of insane. Now, Oni resists explosive damage, so I'm not going to be able to use... I'm not going to be able to use the Unicorn Explosion here. Cluster Grenage. Oh, back up. No, that sucks. I need to, I need to run. Alright, who's going to close the gap on me? Anybody? I gotta think here. I think Hector's Paradise could be... Oh, Lunatic Bomber. Nice. Let's run forward. Yeah, this could be what we go for here. And we're not trying to kill him super insanely fast. We're just trying to kill him. Stay out of his effective range. Just goes in the gap on me. What, what now, brother? Dude, show yourself. There we go. I could actually... Maybe this is a good moment to run... Pistol damage. Keep it moving. Yeah, and this guy has a shotgun, so as long as we stay outside his effective range, we're gonna be fine. Oh, 
I'd like to be able to hit more shots now. Thank you, Death Trap. You're a beast, bro. Keep throwing grenades now. Okay, don't don't die to this martyrdom grenade. Very clean. Is that a Hydra? It's a Twister. That's best in slot, brother. That is best in slot. So now that we have a Twister, I think we can slap it on. We've got so many good weapons now. And now, I mean, we could do a respec after the phase to phase two boss now. To get some more shock damage, perhaps. And just better just make better efficient decisions. Okay, I'm not gonna continue. Um I don't want to accidentally die. That trap you're taking up too much space, man. Let's do I think more pep could be good. We're gonna want it when we get interspersed out first. But again, we're not gonna be respecking until until we beat the boss. When we lose all of our anarchy stacks. And then I can because the shock because the twister is shock, I can make better use of it. If I take some shock skills. Again, think of the twister as a it's a, sh a shock damage quad with slower pellet speed. Not bad. The Waddle Gobbler, though, might be a little bit tricky. Because he's fast. But we're doing some really good damage to it. I'm not worried about stacking up anymore. I just want to get through these bosses. Okay, the Waddle Gobbler is almost dead. Again, he's been he's been going for Death Trap this entire time. But I haven't, I haven't had to heal up anything. Very, very nice. And if someone resists shock, I can always just go to... Oh, another twister? Which one's better? This one is a little bit better. It's not matching grip. But it's a little bit better. Huge. A deputy's badge. Would you look at that? A bone shredder? Could be good, too. A hive. Oh, my gosh. Now we're starting to cook a little bit. Okay. We got some decisions to make. A long rider. A long rider could be really good when we're trying to uh, stack up anarchy in our chest. Because then it, cause only it only uses one ammunition. A black hole or a cradle? I don't want either. All right, more pep, shock and awe. Let's take one point unstoppable force. Let's go next. All right. The question is going to be, what raid boss are we going to get? Let's take some shotgun ammo, some grenades. We're going to want to max out our grenades. Let's max out our launcher, and we can do two pulls of the box. Two pulls, please. Class mods that I don't really want. Even even the Slayer Turn Morphous one I'm not the biggest fan of. Alright, a Hot Mama and a Stoic Emperor? Neither. We go next. Who's it gonna be? Alright, it's gonna be Terra. It's gonna be Terra. Let's go. Terra is the they're probably the easiest one of all the raid bosses. I'm gonna say that and it's gonna kill me, but I feel confident. Make sure I got the deputy's badge equipped. These weapons should be fine. I could use a hot mama. I could use it just for a second just to see how much damage it does. Okay, we can do this. And after this round, I think we're going to hit up a respec. Thing is, the twister is not very good against the dragons. It's my only problem. Okay. How much damage is this going to do? Not bad. It's not bad damage, but what about what about the uh, the twister? Come back, brother. Thank you. 
The Twister seems to be doing more, maybe? Hard to tell. As long as we stay center stage, then nothing to worry about. Not gonna be able to knock us off or anything like that. Hopefully our ricochets will do enough damage to kill these other tentacles. If not, I can just shoot at them. Hey, stop, swi stop swiping at me, brother. I'm gonna throw up. How many swipes is he gonna get? Oh my gosh. How many swipes is he gonna get? I've never seen him swipe so much in my life. In my entire life, I've never seen this guy swipe so much. And the tentacle goes away. This could be it. Why did he swipe 17 times in a row? Dude, I lost to Terramorphus. That's crazy. Wow. Dude, this, like, like, usually he only swipes once or twice. Why he swipes so many times? That's what I get for talking crap about him, though. Anyways, that's a pretty good round. Thanks for watching.